Hey guys, Sunday night, we're going to talk about the 30 Colombian schoolgirls that were playing with the Ouija board. I'm going to wait for some of you guys to come on. Please share this video because uh, we need to talk about what happened to these uh, girls that were rushed to the hospital. There were 30 of them playing with the Ouija board. Okay, so this is real, you guys. For all you guys that think I'm crazy talking about demons, talking about devil worship, talking about Eastern mysticism, talking about Harry Potter, yoga, um, all this stuff. For you guys that think that it's crazy for me to talk about this, we're going to get into... Um, okay, I don't know... <laughs> We're going to get into why this is so real and it's so dangerous, okay? So I got my computer in front of me and we're going to start talking about it. I'm just waiting for you guys to come on. This is also going to be posted on my YouTube channel as well. And that way um, you can share it. And for those of you that are not on Facebook... So again, we're going to talk tonight about dozens of Colombian girls hospitalized with anxiety after playing with Ouija board. Okay, this is on Fox. This article is from Fox News, and this is all over the world right now. So they're saying 30 girls, and then they're saying 28. So I'm going to start reading this to you. 28 school schoolgirls were hospitalized with anxiety attacks with anxiety attacks after allegedly playing with Ouija boards in their school and Columbia report says the the girls reportedly suffered signs of fainting anxiety and other symptoms at the Galeris educational institution in Glaris, according to Jam Press, shared by the New York Post. The girls were admitted to a hospital accompanied by parents and school faculty. Information on their diagnosis has not been released. I'm going to talk about that, okay, what they're doing in the hospital right now. Ouija boards were created in 1886. You know, let me keep reading. And are often re referred to as spirit or talking boards. They are believed to be a way to communicate with the dead. Again, 28 girls out of 30 that they're saying 30 and then 28 were hospitalized after playing with Ouija boards. Okay. In November 20 of 22, 11 teenagers were found collapsed after using a Ouija board at another school in Colombia. This is real news, you guys. Follow me. All right. So let's talk about this. All right. Let's talk about this. So many people that have followed me for a decade make fun of me because... I just had a post from Yoga Barbie that went viral all over the world and the the liberals made such fun of me and it was all over the news, all over the world. Every channel picked it up, okay? And they made fun of me because we were talking about yoga and how people can get possessed by practicing yoga, okay? So we're going to talk about this and we're going to... So the Ouija board is a board game where you actually put your hands on the board and there's this, I wish I had a picture of it right now, but um, you basically, let me, let me see if I can pull it up for you, where you basically um, conjure up the dead and you actually follow this thing um, by conjuring up the dead. You guys know what it looks like, a Ouija board, right? You guys know what it looks like. So anyway, I don't need to pull it up. So you move around this triangle thing and this thing actually moves around and communicates with going to letters and they, and you actually communicate with the dead. So a lot of people, especially in our generation right now, 
um, they're consulting with uh, demonic activity right now in a higher level that we've ever seen before. So they want to talk to their dead aunt or their dead parent or their dead grandma or their dead child or some 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 dead person that they worshipped. And so they consult, you know, with the dead. And the Bible clearly tells us that uh, consulting with the dead is an abomination to God. Um, we know that in Levit Leviticus, Leviticus 19 and 31, it says, do not regard them that a familiar spirits either seek or, or seek wizards. You know, we get defiled. The Bible says defilement. So what does defilement means? That means we become unholy. So listen, listen to what happened to these girls. Okay. Because the news is not going to tell you what happened to them. They're being treated in the hospital. Information is not being released. Let me tell you, these girls are in the psych ward, okay? That's where these girls are. The hospitals, the natural world does not understand the spiritual world. So they, they saw these girls with anxiety. They saw them fainting. And you know what they do? They pharmacia them up. Them up. They're going to drug them up. They're going to put them in the psych ward. They're going to put electric shock therapy on them. They're going to do all kinds of things that are actually going to make them worse because they don't realize that these girls had full on demonic possession okay and i'm going to take this right from scripture i'm going to read scripture to you okay real easy so these girls fainted had anxiety attacks all this stuff was going on because they got full on demonic possession they are infiltrated possessed by demons for life until they get saved okay so what okay i'm gonna keep on reading acts 19 13 through 16 then some of the um the jewish exorcists i can't pronounce this word in itinerant jewish exorcists undertook to invoke the name of jesus the the name of the lord jesus over those who had evil spirits okay I adjure you by the name of Jesus, who Paul proclaimed. Seven sons of a Jewish high priest named Sceva were doing this. Listen to me. Seven people went to a guy to cast out demons, okay? But the evil spirit answered them, Jesus I know, and Paul I recognize, but who are you? And the man whom the evil spirit leaped on them, mastered them all and overpowered them so that they fled out of the house naked and wounded. This is what happened to the girls in, in Colombia. So the demons threw the Ouija board. The Bible says don't bring a cursed thing into your house unless you become, become a curse like unto it. So what happens is demons attach themselves not only to people and inside of people, they also attach themselves to objects, Okay. As we can see in the book of, in Acts 19:19, 19, 19, all those that practiced magic arts and witchcraft brought all their books out and they burned into them and the amount of them was like millions. I don't know, it was millions. Why would God require such accursed things to be burned? Because demons attach themselves to anything they can, whether it's people, humans, animals, uh, paranormal activity they come into homes you see that through the universities through the, the science testing they'll come into a home and they will possess that home so you've got these familiar spirits these demonic spirits in the home so the spirits that are talking to the Ouija board are actually demons they're not your dead loved ones okay because the Bible clearly says that we cannot communicate with the dead just like Saul did. Saul lost his throne because he practiced witchcraft. He feared the people more than God. And he consulted the witch of Endor to conjure up the spirit of Samuel. So here he is wanting to know, instead of contacting God, because he wasn't hearing from God. So he contacted the spirit of Samuel through the witch of Endor. And he was cursed. I mean, God was just like judgments coming on Saul. He's lost his throne. He's not... He didn't seek me for counsel and because I didn't answer, he's going to a witch and that's what this generation is doing. They're going to witches, they're going to diviners, they're going to psychics, they're going to everything they can but God of the Bible to consult answers, okay? 
So this is what happened, just like with the sons of Sceva in the book of Acts, the evil spirit leaped on them, jumped on them, mastered them all, wounded them, overpowered them, beat them up, basically. So this is what happened with the girls. All 28 girls got demon-possessed. They are in full-on demonic possession. The world ain't going to tell you this. The world's going to tell you that these girls are just psycho. Okay, they need medication. They need more pharmaceuticals, more witchcraft in them so that more demons are going to enter into them. Sorry about my ring light, but I don't have any light in this room. It's in my glasses. So listen, the demons overpowered the girls. They fainted. That's full on possession, anxiety, full on possession. Okay, because they practice divination, witchcraft, the occult. That's why I tell you guys, do not have books of the occult or magic arts or games in your house or toys or any kind of anything that represents the occult and divination 20 30 girls were affected 28 of them were rushed to the hospital they fainted because that's what happens when the demons enter in they will wound you and they ain't telling us more than that they ain't going to tell us they're putting psych treatments on them and probably in the psych ward and they got them medicated up and they're putting electric shock therapy on them they ain't going to tell us that these girls are free. They freaked out. Okay. Because that's what the demons do when they enter into your body through these witchcraft occult games. Okay. That's why I tell you, don't play with Harry Potter. Do not go to the Harry Potter and Disney. Do not read the books of Harry Potter. Do not have Harry Potter in your house. This is all witchcraft, divination, sorcery. Do not invite the unicorn into your house for your children. These are young girls. Do not invite unicorn. This is witchcraft. Some of the Cabbage Patch dolls, Pokemon, all this stuff, yoga, Eastern meditation, Eastern visualization, karma, reincarnation. You know, these, listen, this generation is watching vampire movies, okay? They're enticed by vampires. They're enticed by romanticizing demonic evil things, falling in love with a vampire, you know, the Buffy, the vampire slayer and all this stuff. I got videos on this. They're enticed. They're enticed by demonic activity and evil looks good and good looks evil in this end time generation. All right. You guys following me now? You guys follow me. I want you to follow me. Taking a breath here for a second. So listen. I'm just letting you guys just join on. You guys have been following me for this for this moment. So, listen. We live in a generation that people are consulting with wizardry. Okay, so people, instead of inquiring of the Most High God, they're inquiring of the devil himself. Okay? So demons are the ones that give the psychic readings and all this nonsense that all the Ouija board, these are demons behind them. Okay, so anxiety is actually possession. That's why they're full of anxiety. I'm not talking just normal anxiety. Like I'm talking about these girls fainted. These girls got hurt just like the sons of Sceva, just like the guy that was demon possessed. He wounded them. So they're not telling us all this stuff from the hospital in Columbia, okay? They're not exposing this stuff to us. And so let me read on even more and more because we need to we need to know the truth. Listen, people will read, you know, they'll they'll be like, who wrote the Bible? Well, men who are inspired of the Holy Spirit. Well, we're not reading the Bible because it was written by men. Well, cookbooks are written by men, and you read them and you follow the recipe. God has a recipe for us in the Bible, which was inspired. There were holy men of God moved by the Holy Spirit that wrote the word of God. You guys will read the, 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 the cookbooks. Just like sage, you guys will burn sage, but you don't know that sage opens you up to demonic activity. It was used in occult circles. Okay. They, sage is used to cleanse the air, to rid of spirits. And let me tell you, there's only one way to rid spirits, evil spirits. I'm going to tell you that right now. You ready for this? The blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and his written word. It is written. 
It is written. It is written. Jesus did that in the wilderness. He's Jesus, who is God himself, the son of God, had to tell the devil it is written because the devil took scripture and he twisted it in the wilderness 40 days. So listen, Jesus even used the word against the devil himself, his own word. He is the living word. But y'all are using sage. Y'all are using, you know, oils, you know, essential oils to get rid of spirits and give you peace and joy and all this stuff. You are actually inviting demons into your home and you're becoming reliant on these objects, okay? Just like the Ouija board story, how many of you have practiced the Ouija board? I did when I was younger in the basement with all the kids, you know, we practiced the Ouija board. So um, the rosary, all this stuff, you guys are inviting these things into your house. And, and listen, a lot of times, you know, you guys are practicing, a lot of you guys are smoking pot. This is hallucinogenics. It's just like what happened with the Ouija board, but in a different form. You guys are using hallucinogenics, painkillers, alcohol, drugs, you know, opiates. You know, you're using um, pot. You're smoking pot just because it's legal. You're invoking demon spirits. You're allowing them into your body. You're asking for demonic possession. Okay? So let me tell you what happens. The Bible clearly says when a wicked spirit is cast out of a man, he goes through dry places seeking for rest. And he comes back and he looks at the house that he came out of, that he, where he used to live. He's coming back to y'all. And then he's going to see that if it's swept, garnished, and empty, he's going to invite seven more wicked spirits. And the latter state of that man is worse than the former because let me tell you something. If you cast wicked spirits out of somebody that doesn't want wicked spirits cast out of them, you're going to cast these spirits out of them, okay? You're going to cast spirits out of them. And guess what? Seven more wicked spirits are coming back because that person didn't want Jesus to begin with. They ain't filled with the Holy Ghost. They don't want the Word of God. They don't want nothing godly. They don't want to repent. They don't want to turn to God. They don't want to surrender. So you, you, listen, you are cast, you can't cast these things out of people until they come to repentance. They got to want repentance. Listen to me, demons, I'll, I, I'm, listen, I'm counseling every night of the week, just about every night of the week, people possessed, people tormented, people cutting themselves, people hurting themselves, people cutting themselves till they're bleeding, people scratching themselves, people cutting, people doing all this stuff. This is demonic possession, you guys. This comes through the Ouija board. These women are, are going to be tormented for the rest of their lives until they they, they get saved. This is all over the news, you guys. This is not the first time it's happened. Like I said, in November of 2022, 11 other children were possessed by demons in Colombia in another area for playing with the Ouija board. So let me just, let me just keep on talking. When you get high and when you get drunk, you're going to test stuff with people around you that are of the world, that are of the demonic world. They're going to say, let's smoke pot. Let's get drunk. Let's fornicate. Let's try sage. Let's do Ouija boards. Let's play around with the devil. And because of that opening, that devil's going to come right into your body. That's why you got teenagers growing up with mental issues, ADHD. You know, they can't talk. They can't, they can't, they can't think for themselves. They're suicidal. Suicide is the biggest thing among teenagers because that devil has entered into them through the family bloodline, through the generational curses, through the divination and occult practices and false religion of the family members, the fathers, the mothers, the grandmothers, all passed down, all these sins visited on the children. So you got children now that are full of the devil and they're, they're fighting demons. They don't even know how they got, how they got them. They got them through their family. And they're like, um, how did I, how come I'm under torment? How come I see spirits in my room? How come I see orbs playing around? How come all this stuff has happened to me? And the family can't do nothing because the parents aren't going to church. The parents don't care about God. So we got this generation 
of adulterers and adulteresses that hate God, that are idolaters and devil worshipers. I don't care if they say they don't worship the devil. The Bible says by default, you are born to worship the devil. You are born into sin. You, by Jesus' own words, are a child of the devil. Jesus said that you are of your father, the devil, and you're going to listen and do what he says. I'm paraphrasing it from John, Gospel of John. He says, you're going to do, because if you were of me, you would receive me. You would obey me. You would listen to me, but you don't because you're of your father, the devil. So you guys, listen, this is nothing to play with. How, how many of y'all have been in the basement playing with Ouija boards and never repented? Y'all need to repent because I'm telling you right now, any divination. The Bible says be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about the earth, seeking whom he may devour. Listen to me. This is the word of God. Okay? There is a guy playing with the Ouija board, and he talks about this. This is online. I'm not going to mention his name. Playing with the Ouija board, he was with a bunch of his buddies, and they were drinking and stuff. They brought the Ouija board out, and all of a sudden, listen, flies showed up. About 30, 40 flies showed up. Flies. You know, the Lord of the flies. Satan is called the Lord of the flies. Listen, some flies come around because there's a decomposement going on. Some flies come around because the, the poop of your animal. But there are spiritual flies that will come around your house, come around inside when you're burning that sage. And when you're practicing divination, you're going to Halloween, trick or treat, dressed like witches and warlocks and ca ca carving all those pumpkins and burning sage and, and, and going to see Harry Potter and going, going to watch the good witch on, witch on Hallmark. I just keep calling and call it out, you guys. You know, Buffy the Vampire Slayer watching vampires in love with that sexy, sexy vampire. And you got demons coming right through your TV set. Right behind me. You got demons coming right through your TV set, right through your sage, right through your essential oils that give you peace and joy and healing. Mm. Should I just keep going? You guys want me to keep going? So these girls, I'm almost done. These girls are hospitalized. They will not update us because just like the sons of Sceva, let me just keep on going. The man in whom the evil spirit leaped on them, mastered them all and overpowered them. So they fled out of the house naked and wounded. These girls are wounded. These girls are hurt. They fainted. Their anxiety. They got possession, full blown on demonic possession that we're seeing all over the world right now. Full-blown demonic possession, okay? The Bible says, mm, oh, okay, I'm just taking a breath. Just taking a breath right now. I'm trying to warn y'all, y'all. Okay? You cannot drink of the cup of the Lord and the cup of demons. You cannot take Partake of the table of the Lord and the table of demons, 1 Corinthians 10, 21. Leviticus, so they shall no more sacrifice their sacrifices to goat demons after whom they whore. This shall be a statue forever for them throughout their generations. The goat demons. You know the devil looks like a goat in Satanism? You know those goats that you see? Goats tattooed on you? Death skulls tattooed on you, dragons tattooed on you, everything that represents satanic. You know, the, the tribal tattoos, these are all satanic. The, the tramp stamp in the back, that's satanic. People have gotten possessed through that. And listen, y'all can make a, Luke 8.30. Jesus asked them, what is your name? And he said, Legion, for many demons had entered into him. You know what Legion is? That man had over six to 7,000 demons in one body. Let that get through your sanctified imagination. Sanctified imagination. That man had six to seven thousand demons in his body. Okay? So, how, does, is this hitting you right here? 
Matthew 12, 24, when the Pharisees heard it, they said, it is only by Beelzebub, Beelzebub, the prince of demons, that this man casts out demons. They were accusing demons of, of Jesus of having a demon to cast out demons. That's blasphemy. Listen, this, this doesn't even, listen, Mark 5, 12, the demons in the legion man begged Jesus, begged him saying, send us to the pigs, let us enter into them because they don't want to go to the abyss. They don't even want to go to hell. The demons don't even want to go to hell. It's such a terrible place to be. Matthew 8, 28, this is another possession. And when he came, Jesus, when he came to the other side of the country of the Gadarenes, two demon-possessed men met him coming out of the tomb so fierce, so fierce that no one could pass that way. So fierce. And y'all are playing with this stuff that is making you possessed, okay? A Christian spirit filled cannot be possessed, but they can be inflicted from the outside in by a demon like Paul. A messenger of Satan was sent to Paul to inflict him to keep him humble because of all the revelations that he had received. We don't know what that is. Was it that he had a walking problem? It was something to do with his flesh. We don't know. The Bible doesn't tell us, so don't even try to guess it. Don't even... No theologian has come up with what that means. Well, you ain't, you and I ain't going to come up with it either. But it was from the outside and he was afflicted in his flesh. But possession means you are, you got demons inside of you. So when you're cutting yourself, when you're scratching yourself, when you're harming yourself in any way that is demonic possession, when you faint, Anxiety, I'm not talking about normal anxiety, like being anxious about a test that you got coming up or, you know, um, you got a big move coming up and you're anxious. I'm not talking about normal anxiety. I'm talking about where you are hurting yourself and you are tormented, okay, by evil spirits. That's demonic possession. You may think you're saved. You may even confess Jesus because they called him Lord. The demons called them. We know that you are the Lord. You, we know that you have the son of the, listen, Matthew 17, 14 through 18. And when they came and when they came to the crowd, a man came up to him, Jesus and kneeling before him said, Lord, have mercy on my son for he has seizures and he suffers terribly. Y'all can believe that seizures are just natural, but they're not for he often falls into the fire and often into the water. And I brought him to your disciples, but they could not heal him. And Jesus answered, oh, faithless and twisted generation. How long am I to be with you? How long am I to bear with you? Bring him here to me. And Jesus rebuked the demon and it came out of him. And the boy was healed instantly. Listen to me. Listen to me. This demon was inside the boy. Not the outside, not like Paul, a messenger of Satan, a thorn in the flesh. He was inside of this boy just trying to kill him and destroy him, okay? He suffers terribly with seizures. He falls into the fire. These demons throw him into the fire. They throw him into the water to try to drown him to kill this little boy. This is, this is what happened to the girls in Colombia, okay? This is what happened to in November of 2022 on the news. 11 more children playing with Ouija boards. That's what happened with them too. They got possessed, okay? So the demons will throw a person into reckless situations to, to, to try to kill, steal, and destroy that person's life. Are you guys following me, okay? And so listen, Luke 4, 41, and the demons also came out of many crying, you are the son of God. <laughs> they confessed Jesus as the son of God. The demons did. So just because people confess, just like the slave girl that was following Paul in the book of Acts, she was used for sorcery and divination to bring in much money. And she walked around with the disciples all day. She's like, listen to these men of God, for they will show you the salvation of the Lord. Listen to them and listen to what the Bible is saying. Listen to what Jesus, Jesus is the word of God. He's the only truth that we have. Not yes, mean. Not these false preachers you're listening to. Not these false stuff that you're listening to. It's Jesus. He is the word 
who became flesh and dwelt among us. We beheld his glory as the only begotten son of God. Okay. Luke 4, 41. And the demons also came out of many crying, you are the son of God. But he rebuked them because they were mocking. He rebuked them and would not allow them to speak because they knew that he was the Christ, the son of the living God, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the great I am, the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star, wonderful counselor, the mighty God, the prince of peace and the everlasting father, Jesus, the resurrection who is alive forevermore. The demons know it. They said it. And his word, for his word is truth. So stop listening to all these deliverance ministers and listen to the word of the living God. I just read it to you. What did they say? I'm going to read it to you again. Okay. Luke 4:41. And the demons also came out of many because that's what Jesus' ministry was. He, he went casting demons out, healing diseases, sicknesses. He just rebuked the demons out of it. All these people. They, and the demons came out of many crying, you are the son of God. That's what the demons were saying to Jesus. The son of God. The demons were proclaiming that he was the son of God. Just like so many of y'all do in the church. So many of y'all do behind the pulpits. Mm -hmm. And y'all possessed with demons. He rebuked them. Jesus rebuked them because they were mocking him, right? They were mocking him. He rebuked them and would not allow them to speak. You cannot converse with the demons. You see all these pastors that go talk to all these demons that are deliverance ministries that just keep talking to them. They just keep talking to them, right? They just keep talking to these demons, asking them all these questions, doing all this stuff. That ain't from God. God doesn't talk to demons. He just asks them a question. He silences their mouth. He asks their name. He may not. He asks legion. He didn't converse with them. He said he rebuked them and would not allow them to speak. Because they knew that he was the Christ. The son of the living God. Listen to me, y'all. Be careful who you're following on social media. Be careful of who you're listening to. There's a lot of witches, a lot of warlocks, a lot of diviners and psychics that are calling themselves prophets. And these spirits are getting into your life and you're getting tormented. You're getting afflicted. You're getting oppressed. As a child of God can be oppressed, but not possessed. Okay. You can be oppressed of the devil where the Holy Spirit is, the filling of the Holy Spirit. Y'all need the filling of the Holy Spirit where the filling of the Holy Spirit, the devil and the Holy Spirit cannot live in the same body, okay? Now, he can afflict your body. He can afflict you with diseases. He can afflict you with, with uh, oppression. He can afflict you with depression. He can afflict you, but he cannot possess you. And possession is when anything that you do in your life to destroy yourself, okay? Scratching, hitting, punching, stabbing, Drinking, drugs, fornication, sex, compulsions, porn. Oh, yeah, you can be demon possessed. Porn addicts. Mm. Porn. Listen, the demons are looking for any legal entry ground to get in. So, let me let let me just keep on going. Let me just keep on. I'm almost done. The Bible. Okay. Matthew 9, 32 to 33, as they were going away, behold, a demon oppressed man, a demon oppressed man, it doesn't always say possessed, but oppressed man who was mute was brought to him. You know what mute is? There's a mute, a dumb and a deaf spirit and a mute spirit. You cannot talk. That person cannot talk. And when the demon had been cast out, the mute man spoke and the crowds marveled saying, never was anything like this seen in Israel. Okay. Okay. Let me keep on going. Acts 16, 16, as we were going to the place of prayer, we were met by a slave girl who had a spirit of divination and brought her owners much gain by fortune telling. She followed Paul and us crying out. These men are the servants of the most high God who proclaim the way of salvation. And she kept doing this for many days. Paul having become greatly annoyed. Have you ever been annoyed around somebody? You know, they got the wrong spirit. 
that that really supports you, that supports your ministry, that supports what God's doing or supports your evil in your life or just supports you in some way. And you're like, man, this is overboard. This is way too much. They like me too much. They support me too much. They And then they turn to be your enemy, like one of your worst enemies, your greatest supporters. Because let me tell you, they're demonic. The Bible clearly tells us this, okay? The... The, so she kept going around. These men are the servants of the Most High God who proclaim the way to you of salvation, the way of salvation. That seems pretty pretty legit, but listen, she was mocking him. That's why Paul became annoyed with her. That's why you'll become annoyed with people in your life that are too much, too supportive to this, saying, man, you're great, you're awesome, you're beautiful, you're this, you're that, you're lovely. You're... And it's like, man narcissism 101 this is too much man too much affection too much attention too much adoration fake 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 you know um what do they call it um th that's a word in proverbs flattery fake 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 to get what they want from you so paul having become greatly annoyed turned and said to the spirit i command you in the name of jesus to come out of her and it came out that very hour interesting it didn't say that very moment. It said that very hour. So I'm wondering, did Paul, did it take a little time for that demon, of that divination spirit? Is it a spirit of divination on her? So it's divination. What is divining, consulting with the dead, communicating with the dead, divining, getting, um, getting information from the spirit realm in unlawful territory, going through any other way except the word of God. That is divining. This is what the Bethel crowd and the IHOP crowd and Bill Johnson's and Jesus cultures and they're all doing their, their divining, their sorcerers, divination because they're getting revelation or revelatory knowledge outside of the scripture through another way except through the word of God. So this is why I warn you guys, many people in the church are demon possessed. There are false apostles, false Christ, false teachers to deceive even the very elect of God. God warns us we're in the end times. Y'all, people are very demon possessed. We have authority over every unclean spirit. Okay. We, Jesus said, Jesus said in Luke and in John, I have given you authority to trample on serpents and scorpions. What are serpents and scorpions? Demons. And over all the power of the enemy and nothing will hurt you or harm you. The devil doesn't want you to know that. Okay. So listen, Luke 4, 33 through 35. And in the Senate, Jesus cast out so many demons in his time. You think we don't have any in our time? Y'all think that demons don't exist in our time? <laughs> what? <laughs> Jesus was casting out demons in his time. 2,000 years ago. And you don't think there's more now? <laughs> Luke 4, you are deceived, okay? Luke 4, 33 to 35. Listen, these demons are in your family members. Some of y'all whole entire families are demon possessed. Some of y'all, listen to me again. Some of y'all entire families are demon possessed. Some of your moms, dads, uncles, cousins, siblings, ch children, demon possessed. And all they're doing is taking drugs and pharmacia to deal with the torment and possession. Listen, the demons are killing them. The demons are killing your family members. The demons are killing your children, your parents, your, your loved ones, your spouses. They're killing them. They're, they got all kinds of sicknesses, diseases, mental torment, agony, they're, they're shriveling to nothing, you know, and then you got doctors cutting them all up and doing surgeries and filling them up with pharmacias and drugs and witchcraft and divination even more. You guys following me on this? The, the, the path of the just shines brighter and brighter, but the wicked don't know at what they stumble. Y'all, listen to me. They are controlled by the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now works in the children of disobedience. Listen to me. Listen to me. 
Luke 4, 33 to 35. And in the synagogue, there was a man who had a spirit of an unclean demon. This is another spirit, a spirit of an unclean demon. That's the name of the spirit. He cried out with a loud voice. Ha! What do you have to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? It wasn't just Jesus, because there's a lot of people named Jesus or Yahus or Yasus or whatever. You got to call Jesus out by which Jesus it is, because there's a lot of different Jesuses going around in this world. I don't mean to be so dramatic, but that's just my personality online, not in, per not in real life. Jesus of Nazareth. See, there's a lot of people named Jesus or Yahus or y Yasus or Joshua, okay? But the, even the demons recognized him as Jesus of Nazareth. Have you come to destroy us? The demons are asking God, the Son of God, have you come to destroy us? Then they say, I know who you are, the Holy One of God. I could just imagine them saying it with such a mockery, scoffing, the Holy One of God, Jesus of Nazareth. We know who you are. But Jesus rebuked them saying, be silent again. Be silent. Come out of him. Do not talk to these demons. I'm telling you. When the demon had thrown him down in the mist, he came out of him having done him no harm. Listen, the demons will come out. It'll be like though that people is dead. That person's dead, but they're not. The demons just came out of him. Okay. I'm worked up now. Y'all, I'm so worked up. And no wonder, for even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light in 2 Corinthians eleven fourteen. Second 2 Corinthians 12, 7, like I said, so to keep me from becoming conceited because of the surpassing greatness of the revelations, a thorn was given to me in the flesh, a messenger of Satan to harass me, to keep me from becoming conceited. Like I said, there's a difference of possession and there's a difference of being attacked, Okay being attacked when a christian is practicing ouija boards halloween harry potter um vampire diaries watching porn uh fornicator adulterer lying lying spirits there is lying spirits in the bible just like um first samuel 19 then a harmful spirit or an evil spirit of the lord came upon saul and he sat as he sat in the house with a spear in his hand and David was playing the lyre or the harp. And Saul, he was walking around the house like a madman. He took that spear and he threw it to David to try to pin him to the wall. See, people that are demon possessed, they're going to get violent. They're going to get angry at, at the people of God. You won't even know what's going on. You, you'll have your mother lashing out on you, hating you. You'll have your dad lashing out on you and hating you. Your siblings can't stand you. They call you crazy. And they try to, people try to destroy you in your own family. Your friends turn on you. And now they become your worst enemies. Your pastors turn on you. People in the church turn on you. You know, you got your spouse turning on you. People are killed by their spouses every day. People are killing their children and their spouses every day. People are murdering, they're harming, doing crazy stuff that you never heard before. A lawless and wicked generation that we are who has no fear of the Lord. These are demon spirits like that came upon Saul and he was out to murder David. He hated David. He was jealous of him because God honored him and he didn't honor Paul. And, and the women were singing about you know, how David had killed 10,000, but only Saul has thousands. And that jealousy came in his heart and a wicked spirit came on Saul. And he, he not only tried to kill David, King David of the Bible, but he also consulted with the witch of Endor. And he was, God was done with him. Done, done, done. Mark 5, 9, and Jesus asked him, what is your name? He replied, my name is Legion, for we are many. Legion is six to 7,000 demons and one man. How did they enter into that man, y'all? By the same things I warn you of. Ephesians 6, 11, I'm going to end with this. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes, the wiles, the craftiness of the devil. Submit yourselves to God. Humble yourselves. Resist the devil and he will flee. If you got stuff in your house, just like these girls got Ouija boards, 
got Buddha statues, you got ohms, gnomes, whatever you want to call them, you got Pokemon, you got Halloween stuff, you got witchcraft, muscle testing. I mean, how much can I name? Tea leaf reading, you know, Reiki, you know, acupuncture. How much can I talk about, you guys? You got all the stuff in your house. You got you got stuff from India, where I'm from. I'm from India. I got delivered from witchcraft, evil, divination, demons. I got w delivered mightily by the hand of God and radically filled with the Holy Ghost. Been serving God all, decades and decades, trying to help y'all, okay? You got to repent. You got to renounce. You got to destroy that stuff from your house. You got to break that stuff off your family. You got to break that stuff off yourself. You got to ask God for his blood to cleanse you, wash you in his blood. Some of y'all have actual, what are they called? Altars. You got altars in your house of stuff sitting there that is divination and witchcraft. You got, you got bottles of alcohol, divination and witchcraft. You got bottles of, or you got statues of Buddha, divination and witchcraft. You got Pharaoh in your house. You got Pharaoh, the one that were after the children of Israel in your house. You got all these Egyptian statues. You ask the Lord to give you the eyes of the spirit. You know, you got all this holistic herbal demonic medications or or stuff in your house that's making you sicker and sicker and sicker that is associated with witchcraft and divination you got it all in your house and in the name of christianity they're all coming in the name of christianity you got chiropractors that are doing weird stuff on you you know like that magnetic um the tuning the vibrations all this stuff you got you got reiki you got i could just keep on going there's thousands of things that Satan will come in just like with the Ouija board with these women so again share this video ask God to set you free show you what's in your life in your house in your past that's holding you captive listen when you get saved you got to renounce everything that your family did too and that you practice with them including false gods and, and false worship, including Catholicism, everything. You gotta go, you got rosaries in your house, you better destroy and repent. Renounce Satan's kingdom and every ground you've given him. So, anyways, I'm done. If you need spiritual help or spiritual counseling, please contact me at Yasmin underscore Suri at yahoo.com. My link will be there. If you are oppressed, depressed, demonically possessed, you can contact me. I will deal with those demons with you. I will help you to cast them out. I'm not going to judge you. I ain't going to put you down because you're already being put down by the demons. I ain't going to shame you. I ain't going to rile on you. I ain't going to just, I, I ain't going to guilt you. I ain't going to do nothing, but I'm going to correct you. I'm going to rebuke you and I'm going to tell you to repent because I love you and I don't want to see the devil destroying you anymore enough is enough it's time to kick that devil out of your life your marriage your children your home that's it enough is enough in Jesus mighty name and so I encourage you I encourage you to get with me if you can I'm pretty busy right now but we'll get you in it doesn't even have to be me Okay, you can go right to Jesus. But if you have a hard time going right to Jesus, I got a lot of videos on my YouTube channel, okay, to tell you how to do this. But if you can't and you need me, contact me. I'm here to do God's business. You know, God got me. I got you. I got you. I'll help you. I love you. Hope this helped tonight. Do not play with the devil. He ain't playing. He's out to kill you steal from you and destroy you. He's going to murder you. He's going to take you to hell with him. He don't care who you are. He don't care who you are. He's going to, he wants to kill you. Okay. And he don't care who you are. I don't care if you got money or you're broke or you're pretty or you're ugly or you're rich, poor, 
blind, you can see, I don't care. He's out to kill you. I don't care if you got titles or no titles. He is no respecter of persons. All he wants is legal entryway into your life. Okay. I hope this helped. God bless you. I love you very much. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Share the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. God bless.